Welcome to Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013. Our trip to the show this year is powered by Corsair, maker of quality PC components and peripherals. Our trusted storage partner is Seagate Technology, and our trusted networking partner is Linksys. Now we're in the MSI system suite where we've got a few different notebooks on display. There's a GT70 here, which has the SteelSeries uh, zoned lit backlit keyboard. You know, it's a, just generally a better keyboard than you will usually find on a typical notebook. Right here though, this one is gorgeous. So this has an Intel quad core processor. It has a G4 680M, actually just like the other two that are on the table in front of me. It has a killer NIC, 16 gigs of RAM, a 128 gig SSD. Plus a 128 gig SSD? Are you for, are you for real? Yes. Crazy. For real. Okay, tell, tell us about this storage configuration. Actually, it's uh, got our super RAID system. Actually, it's got two SSDs running in a RAID 0 configuration. So your primary plus drive. Plus a hard drive. Plus a hard drive. So your primary drives are as fast as possible. You could load um, Minecraft in, in, in like really the, the fastest possible speed. Oh, good. Thank you. you know. I was concerned about how quickly I could load Minecraft. Here we've got the GT60, which is basically a 15-inch version, also has the SteelSeries keyboard, also has a 680M, and is also a quad-core. Now I'd like to move over to this little number right over here. This is the GX60. So what's special about this, Alex? I mean, we can clearly see you've got a bunch of monitors on the table, but why have you done that? The GX60 is special because it's got the... AMD Radeon HD 7970M, and using this mobile processor, mobile graphics processor, you could actually run Ifinity on a notebook. And this is something that's, uh, you know, usually Ifinity or any multi-display gaming is usually reserved for desktop, you know, graphic cards and desktop systems. But this is the, a first for a mobile system. Now, you're probably not going to be running Far Cry 3 at full details on something like this, but from a productivity standpoint, it would be great to be able to plug in at home, fire yes. up two additional monitors, and so you can game on the notebook, you can use three displays for yes. your office applications. Yeah, but I mean, if you were running like a DX9 game, uh, that's a little bit less as far as the graphics is concerned. And even if you limit down the resolution of the, the, the secondary monitors, you can actually play at a you know, pretty decent frame rate. Very cool stuff. Finishing up the MSI system suite, we have a couple of really cool notebooks. You might notice that they look very similar to the gaming notebooks that we just saw before, but the key difference is that these include Quadro graphics cards. So this guy is the K1000, and the guy on your right is the K2000. What that means is when you're accelerating professional applications, you are going to be able to take advantage of not only the performance acceleration you get from CUDA, but also some of the quadro optimizations that are made in the driver and in the GPU. So Alex, can you tell us why these look like the gaming models? The biggest, the biggest reason why these are the, uh, look like the gaming models is because the quadro GPU itself actually looks very, it's not, sorry, not looks. It's uh, very similar to the desktop GeForce very version. And the gaming notebooks have the proper thermal in place, th design-wise, to vent the heat uh, from the Quadro chips themselves. Now, I would like to uh, you know, pull off a little magic trick, and I'm going to pull the coolest thing in the MSI system suite out of my proverbial buttocks and show you guys this freaking cool Ultrabook. So it looks like a tablet, but they're calling it Ultrabook. Why is it called an Ultrabook? Because... <gasps> Bam! Not only that, but you can adjust the angle you want to use it at. It's a little bit stiff so that you can basically put it wherever you want. So this is a Core i5. What are you guys calling this guy? This is called the, this is called the S20 slider. It's obviously uh, sliding and, and uh, you can actually use it as a tablet. You can use it for, for multiple things, you know. And uh, you can also download all of the apps off of the, the Xbox Live store, I think. Whatever they call their market. Whatever, whatever they call it. I'm not, I haven't used, uh, used this, 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 this particular setup yet. So. <laughs> so, guys, it's got an IPS screen, 10-point multi-touch, and unlike a lot of tablets, check this out. You've actually got things like Ethernet connectivity. You've got, here we go, again, H, mini HDMI. You've got two USB 3.0 ports. So this really is an Ultrabook because you have to build those into your specification to get that Ultrabook stamp of approval from Intel. But you can use it as a tablet. And what kind of battery life are you getting out of this guy? Uh, it's got a pretty good battery life. It's, good. it's a good five or six hours, if not longer. I, I actually have not tested the entire you know, thing to its full extent. You know, 
But you can extrapolate based on how long it's lasting here at the show while you're showing. Yeah, yeah. It, it, one one charge will basically last us practically an entire day's worth of you know regular just messing around on MS Paint or whatever. All right, guys. So don't miss any of our CES 2013 coverage. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. And a big thanks to MSI for showing us around the suite. Thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013, powered by Corsair, Seagate Technology, and Linksys.